Hi everyone, Dolon Wolf here. Welcome back for an extra EVE Online video. And I have found my way back to Jita because the Jita 44 station should have received a graphical update. We're definitely gonna take a look at that, but before I get going, let's take a quick look at what's happening in local. This is not too long after downtime, so we only have a thousand people in local. But if I browse through this, couple of blues but no war targets in Jita at the moment. I think this is also something that is uh, due to the fall of Nyarja where um, Amar and Jita have, have become so spread out that if you're warding basically because of assets in the Amar region you're not that likely to have a lot of uh, opponents um, you know uh, flying around uh, Jita because that's just too far away uh, for them. So let's head to the Kaldari Navy assembly plant and let's get a first look as we dock uh, to the new station and I'm, I'm really curious to see what this is looking like and also how undocking uh, in Jita is going to work because potentially we could have more undocking oh this is this is what it looks like a little bit of lag as we came in unfortunately but I can zoom out enough so here is the Jita 44 station all right all right so it's not as massively overbuilt uh, but the front view is pretty damn cool. And then on the inside view, let's see if uh, anything has changed here. No, that actually still looks like... <laughs> uh, it's this either how it's meant to be. Uh, to give you like that inside look and that this is really the interior of the station. But then you, you still have sparks flying off over here. Looks like they're still perhaps working on the interior uh, of GTA 4.4. This has of course only unveiled right now. Um, but uh, it may also be that this is how CCP wants it in the end, that you have uh, an inside look and that it has like graphical uh, effects that are like boundaries and things like that. You do have hmm, like something on a track that's moving back there. Okay, and then here we will start to see some ships as you actually look at this that uh, fly from time to time. Now let's undock here. Um, it'll it'll give me that warning about the war deck. I'm keeping that on just in case, uh, you know, if you don't play for a couple of days, you could be surprised by a war deck at some point. So let's get out of here and let's see where we undock. All right. Ooh, we actually undock on that side. Okay. Or and but here you can see here there's still a dock here potentially as well, um, and maybe a couple of others so that's interesting you're undocking on the other side there's fireworks going uh, it is starting to get a little bit more busy and uh, so your instant undocks there's a high chance that you'll have to put those back and let's let's quickly dock and then undock again and see if we are sent you can see here there's definitely a frigate undocking from this little bay over there and uh, I wonder if you can also undock from the back of the station so wait a little bit for the session to change and then we'll press undock again. And I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we have a different exit all of a sudden, which is going to, you know, not be that great for your instant bookmarks. And yep, there we go. Oh, look at that. We are actually now exiting from a different bay. That's... Is, and there's even over here a, a Providence that's undocking from the same bay I just did. That is very cool on the one hand. On the other hand, of course, for your instant bookmarks, I think you'll have to like put them uh, up at, at a very, very long distance. And then over here, you see that Thorax looks like he's still heading for that instant bookmark. So let's head into the tactical camera and let's take a, a look at this uh, Gita 4.4. Uh, addition that has been done so you already have this this other addition over here a couple in fact that are like islands that are floating around Jita 44 as part of it but it is obviously this front part let's see oh someone's actually targeting me why the hell would you target me uh, Corax Major Bean that's well it's it'll be alright so we're gonna now focus on the Kaldari station itself 
And so this front part has basically grown massively. It looks like, like basically like skyscrapers. I think if we go in very close on one of these guys and then you start to look up. Yeah, this looks like, like skyscrapers. Oh, look at the panels here. That is really good looking. Very, very nice. Uh, special lighting effect on this bit over here as well. And uh, yeah, this does look now like a trade hub. Uh, like uh, the center of trade, uh, at least for now, still in uh, in EVE Online. Very, very cool. Look at all of the billboards here. That is just massive and uh, very, very cool. A couple more massive billboards here. This is super impressive. It's kind of making me hope that at some point uh, they will do the same for the other trade hubs that may emerge now. Amar, for instance, could get a nice overhaul, maybe with more religious themes, like, like large statues and things like that. That could be very cool. And then look at that over here. A uh, quick look at the planet as well. That looks uh, very, very developed. Oh, that's the moon, actually. Oh, yeah, that's not a planet. That's the moon. Look at that a whole cityscape on the moon itself. Very nice. I'm not sure if that was there before, but this is definitely pretty damn impressive. And then if you look at the back, this is basically the old Jita. Uh, it's changed. So we would have had like an undocking bay over here. That's not happening anymore. And I'm really curious if... There's anyone that'll undock from this place, for instance. Uh, there's a Gila hanging out over here. And there's another one up here and another one over here. Uh, but uh, what, what was the front of the station, right? You could always have the sun here for some nice lighting effects. As ships would generally come out from, I would say, over here somewhere. Maybe it's the one down here. Um, and... Uh, that's, that's completely changed. All the focus is now going to be on the other side. You could have some very cool shots with the moon in the background like this though. That'll look very, very cool. Um, am I... Ooh, 35 kilometers. Right, we're, we're actually going to try to do an orbit at 1000 as well. Uh, which could be interesting in the sense that uh, that's what you want to be able to instantly redock. Uh, so that could be interesting as well. And then let's take a look here. So we've got more people warping in from all sides. There's definitely warp-ins that are happening within the model. You can see that right here. And still haven't seen anyone really undock from the back just yet. So I'm going to focus on this one just so that I can try to zoom in on what's happening here. You do have what looks like a bay, Eden come like looking uh, symbol over here. And then like a shaded area with internal lights. And uh, these little light points here are actually probably meant to be like civilian ships. And, and that is possibly what's happening here, right? This is just part of the effect. Uh, and that no one will actually undock from the back of the station anymore. There's even... That's a cool billboard with, uh, I think it's the Rattlesnake or the Scorpion. Well, this is Kaldari Space, of course. And let's take a look at my range now. 4,000 meters. Let's get back and look at my ship. Okay. So for an orbit at 1,000 meters, so far at least I'm not clipping, but I do think we may end up within... Uh, the structure at some point and now we're basically climbing the tower here very very cool look at how massive how massive this station is now and the amount of activity it's this is also something that i do kind of like right uh, i sometimes like to use um uh, footage just from Cheetah uh, in order to add that to like the Sunday recap and things like that. Of course, all activity or I'm going to say 90% of the or 99% of the activity now is going to be focused on this new front side of the station. And so getting a lot of activity uh, on one side of the station uh, within one shot is going to be a hell of a lot easier. All the different undocking bays are going to be pretty interesting as well. And there we have people coming from another station over here. But yeah, zero activity at the back here anymore. So there is a little bit of docking that still happens. But undocking, haven't seen that at all just yet. As we're now flying over um, the center. So beyond the wall of, uh, of sky rises. 
here is this also this still looks like a, a bloody a sprawling city in space now this is huge look at that <laughs> that is so so cool very very cool honestly um i'll do a little bit of this as well this even looks like a tower or how deep this goes within like like a valley uh and then with the central part here that goes out towards this bit of Gita 4.4. You've got potentially huge landing pads over here. And then over here you get even more stuff. Not sure what this is. Potentially like a mega crane for maybe like a Titan at some point from uh, from the Kaldari that, that, that may not be able to dock directly with Gita 4.4 but still needs to like unload lots of stuff. Um, this is very, very cool. And even this structure now seems to be like integrated within the 44 station yeah so they added this arm basically and now you have this light pattern so that you could go and visit that old statue uh, that was basically uh, torn apart blown up by the capsuleers in uh, in an event that uh, few people uh, will forget I think uh, the, the massive um, the massive amount of players that were just protesting uh, some of the things that CCP were doing and uh, if I'm if I remember correctly Hilmar's story about this was that um, he was at uh, at a dinner when he got a phone call and when uh, they, they basically said uh, the people are rioting <laughs> what do you mean the people are rioting in Eve the people are rioting and uh, this was the center of that that was that was very cool and so this be actually acknowledging all of that by showing us um, the, uh, the the destroyed uh, monument over here but also incorporating that as we are moving forward and uh, GTA 44 is getting that massive massive redesign it looks insane look at how big this is is this now the large structure in eve um is this larger than a keep star i'm gonna assume that it is not 100 percent sure on that and uh all right even my orbit at a thousand so it it must have had like a, a very nice hitbox basically large so that you can orbit at a thousand around the station uh without clipping it actually this is working and look at that so here we've got uh, the back view of all of these uh, of the the sky rises and then down here you have this this other basically a city an urban place with with lots of traffic that this is so cool and then as we actually go down the station what you're starting to see is more cargo oriented stuff you still have docking and undocking base but that definitely looks like a place where they could store a lot of cargo i'm not sure why we have this spire here but it, it's all part of the design uh look at that clearly again lots of cargo space and yeah you need access points for all of that of course as well to bring into the station so that that becomes the center of trade and that's probably going to be where like the power lies right the real isk um who knows at some point in in the very far future perhaps you could have uh, your character walk around this station and uh, then uh, if you have a lot of isk you could you could like buy offices up here somewhere that would be very cool but you, you get that feeling now of down here it's it's where the work happens it's the storage facilities it's moving everything and then up there as it's now disappearing uh with some with some yeah you know um management positions but here is the real wealth uh, the exuberance that this is cool guys this is really massive massive change uh to gta 44 but it looks amazing this is also confirming that this was the picture that we saw in one of the trailers basically uh, showing the fully redesigned Gita 4.4 and what I did not expect is sort of this um, this front facing bit right I, I thought it would become more massive but looking at it from this perspective um, yeah it it's still it's very very cool in my opinion you basically have all of these these different districts and uh, clearly defined parts of the station um very 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 cool guys so there you go quick extra video to uh show the changes to gta 44 thank you very much for watching and as always i'll see you next time